Hello, my name is Tae Hao Yuan, and I'm from Peihua Secondary School in Singapore. My experience in robotics include Python and Microbit, and this is my first time in Cold Space Rescue, although I've participated in on stage in previous years. I am participating in the RCAP Cold Space Rescue First Steps U19. The challenge task is to rescue or collect as many red, blue and black objects over the map and deposit them at the orange boxes. I used RRGGBB collection strategy and some wall following. My highest result is 1320 for this map. I find the challenge slightly difficult as the red objects are mostly found at the two far sides of the map and I usually use wall following to collect the objects, which means that they will need to make a circle if they miss one of the red objects. How to collect RRGGBB sets in Cold Space Rescue Using RRGGBB sets, when one set of red sign and black objects are deposited in one go, 90 bonus points are given. When two sets of red sign and black objects are deposited together, 180 bonus points are given. Step 1 is to get the values of red, green and blue from the color sensors for the red sign and black objects and enter the values into the code as usual. To make the robot collect the objects in order, each color should be collected in pairs in order to maximize the use of time. The first object collected should have minimum 0 and maximum 1 in the loaded object's space. The second object collected should have minimum 2 and maximum 3 in the loaded object space. The third object collected should have minimum 4 and maximum 5 in the loaded object's space. This is the logic behind the RRGGBB strategy. Here is some gameplay from the uh, screen recording. You will first collect the cyan ones in while going in straight lines. Now it will collect the black objects while doing wall following. This is because I find that many of the black objects are nearer to the corners. Now, it is going to collect the red objects, also using wall following, because the red objects are mostly found in the blue boxes, blue zones near the wall. Now that it has the whole set of RRGGBB, it is now still following the wall in order to search for the depositing space. The coding is not uh, the best and it may miss some of the spaces. Now, it deposits the objects. Applying knowledge gained to the real world. Recently, I have found that out that there is a company named Boston Dynamics who have built a robot which has machine learning and lots of mobility. This can help in search and rescue as this robot may be able to replicate 
human moves in dangerous spaces without the risk of humans getting hurt. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope that you have a nice day.